Welcome to the uh, shortwave radio channel. And I wanted to do a little series of videos as we are in high solar activity. It means that higher frequencies are propagating. And we've been so many years in the bottom of the uh, solar cycle that, you know, habits can actually be lost by not going into frequency ranges that you seem to have never received anything. So I thought, let's revisit 20 to 30 megahertz a little bit, because I think in these times of high solar activity, um, it's important to check that out. I am spending way more time on the top of the, the, the shortwave spectrum uh, now than a long, it's, it's been a long time since that happened. Uh, 10 meters is now a daily occurrence. I, I spent 10 meters actually all day on 10 meters today. So what's up there? Okay, let's go megahertz by megahertz like I always do. Uh, there won't be necessarily signals because at this time uh, there's nothing, but I will make videos to show you some of the catches in the coming days that will go kind of with these videos showing you what I'm trying to explain to you. So first of all, um, 29,000 to 30,000 kilohertz. A lot of people are probably looking at that, that, that one megahertz uh, range and saying, I've never heard anything there. Is there something to listen to? Of course there is. Now, with high solar activity, and if you look at one of the videos of a couple of weeks back on my channel, you'll notice that I have actually some AM amateurs, uh, radio amateurs on 29 megahertz. So the big part of 29 megahertz is still the 10 meter band. It's the biggest, one of the biggest bands out there. Um, the biggest band actually in the HF spectrum, 28,000 to 29,700. Um, you know, 1.7 megahertz of amateur radio pleasure. That band is great and there's a lot of space there. So 29,000 to about 29,300. We'll put it roughly in that range. You have a lot of AM amateur radio operators. What does that mean? That means if you have a radio with no SSB, no single sideband, and it goes all the way up to 30,000 kilohertz or 29,999 as most radios go, well, there's something to listen to there for you. And it's AM amateur radio operators. In the daytime, because 10 meters is a daytime band, um, sometimes ex there's exceptions to the rule, like I always say. You know, a sporadic e-skip, stuff like that, sometimes nighttime. But for the most part, daytime, what you'll want to do is tune around 29,000 to 29,300. And you will hear some AMers. I heard VE6CQ, uh, Rick, in Calgary, Alberta, a couple of times in the last two, three weeks. And there's a lot of other amateur uh, operators. Actually, um, what I want to do is one morning when, or one day when there's going to be a lot of activity, I want to actually try my... my uh, rig, I've never made an AM contact, uh, so I want to try it at, at, at some point. So 29,000 to 29,300 AM amateur radio contacts are going to be there. Now, if you go higher than that, okay, let's go to um, 29,300 and higher. What are you going to find there? Well, 29,300 and higher, you're going to find FM. Yes, it's one of the rare places on the spectrum where there's actually some FM going on. So let me just center here on 29,500. Here we go. So 29,500. That is where you will find a lot of interesting stuff because of FM, uh, the FM band. So don't look here. This is some kind of spurious signal that's being produced right now. So 29,300 all the way up to 29,700 is a FM portion of the amateur band. It's narrow FM. So if you have a, a rig that is, you know, like a tabletop or a desktop rig, often they have FM on it. And don't be discouraged. If you don't have FM, a little trick that is going to work it's going to be a little distorted, but you're, you're still going to be in and con the, all the conversations and the communications. You can just detune a couple of kilohertz. 
So say there's an FM signal on 29500 where I am. On an AM only radio, go to 29502503. You'll see that you'll hear the conversation. It's going to be clear enough to make out. Um, 29300 to 29600 is, for the most part, simplex. Now, there are uh, some frequencies where you're going to be uh, in the bottom of like to 29500. Um, so those are simplex, meaning that it's, you know, regular communications, two stations talking together on the same frequency. 29500 to 29600, these are frequencies mostly reserved for the input of repeaters. So what's a repeater? A repeater is simply a station or a setup where frequencies are retransmitted. So you might be, if you have a scanner radio, you might have noticed that there are repeaters on 2 meters, 70 centimeters, and so on. These are simply uh, there that a small station can go into the repeater and be rebroadcast to a much wider audience on that frequency. So 29500 to 29600 is the input for the repeaters that are listenable on 29600 to 29700. Once again, all in FM mode. So lots of stuff in the daytime. Go around and tune around regularly in the daytime. You'll be surprised at what you can hear. And um, last but not least, what's the left 300 kilohertz? So 29700 to 30,000 kilohertz is a utility band, actually. Um, I've seen some entry of a lot of different um, military and uh, Navy signals in there. So I've never personally heard anything above 20, 29,700 to 30,000, but there's a lot of entries that uh, in, in lists that are not very old. So with higher solar activity, you never know. And actually, I'm going to try it just out of curiosity this week. Is there anything that I can hear in that range? So do check it out. And remember that 29,000 to 29,300 is AM. 29,300 to 29,700 is FM, narrowband FM. And 29,700 to 30,000 kilohertz, possible utilities, those will mostly be an upper sideband. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.